Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Pandora, and welcome back to Primrose Lake 3. In the last episode, we found out that the dude that saved Jess's life is actually saying that he is her father. But we don't know for sure. They called her uncle to find out. I think that's the old man. Figure it out. Do I know you? This guy. New York City, huh? You talking to me? Earlier at the resort, you said you were from New York. Did I? You did. I grew up in the Apple Alphabet City. Maybe we know the same people. Oh, I doubt it. Oh? I mean, it's a big city. What are the chances? A big little city. The kind of place where you pass the same person day by day and never notice them. Exactly. Exactly. Talk to Frank so he doesn't bother Jake. Coffee, leave him alone. <laughs> coffee and creamer, coffee and creamer, leave him alone. Handcuffs, water, pills. Let you go. Water. Magazine. Coffee. Check y'all out. Give you this. Handcuffs. And cuz, which I would order the same thing at the same damn time. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the coming. Handprint thing, coffee.
здорово. Simmons. Frankie! I've been going crazy! Come on, David has disappeared. I've been running the resort all by myself. Excuse me, ain't you forgetting something? No. Mr. Dickling has been charged with illegal distribution of a controlled substance and concerning to public mayhem. And? That's a five thousand dollar fine plus the fee of, plus the fee for a liquor license. How much is that going to run on me? Oh, another a hundred thousand should do it. I'm sure you'll put the funds to good use. Collected fines go towards the Primrose Lake Improvement Fund. Well, if it's improving Primrose Lake, it's money well spent. What was your favorite thing about visiting me? Playing Mountainberry Peg. Did you ever beat me? Not even once. You wore steel toed boots. Half the time, I'd aim for your own foot on purpose. Just my dear, I'd like you to meet your daddy. We've all got a lot of catching up to do. I tried playing this and my game cut out on me so I don't know what's been going on with it lately. Catch you bugger. Coffee with creamer. 
you want to be let go home. I already know what you want. Two handcuffs, coffee with creamer. Handcuffs, handcuffs, handcuffs. Let you go. Sugar, cut it. And water. I'm gonna come in. I got a pair of handcuffs on me. Good. And two coffee. This one, and then come get one. You can do that. Let you go. I can do. Give you this, give you that, give you that, pick up one of these, help you pick up these. Give you this. I'm a common. Can you hold your horses? Maker was a lot faster. I can do. I'm gonna let you go. More coffee. Seriously, dude.
I gotta wait for you to get over here so I can get three. And go for it. Yeah, I got three stars. Don't know how the heck I just did that. When did you get your first threat? When Maddie and I came back from our honeymoon, but I thought it was a prank. After Jesse, after Jessica was born, the threat started coming more and more regularly. That night before I left, I found one in my coat jacket threatening Jessica and Maddie. If I didn't confess what I knew, what did you know? That my family was being threatened. I thought taking myself out of the equation was the only way to keep them safe. So I ran. I hope whomever was writing those letters would follow. Did he? I didn't get any more threats until after Con Connor passed. Connor's dead? Going on 20 years now. This family. Why now? Poor Jessica. <laughs> I feel bad for her. Her family has so many secrets. Okay, fine. You ran to protect us. So why come back now? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I've kept track of you and Maddie your whole life. When I saw the article about your mama, your mom dying, I went to the cast. There was a guy snooping around in the rubble. I thought I could sneak up on him, but he got the drop on me. I think he tased me or something. Next thing I know, I woke up shackled in a basement. He kept me there for weeks, months. He started disappearing for days at a time, so I took a chance and escaped. Didn't you realize you were back in Primrose Lake? The moment I got outside and heard the waterfall, I knew where I was. The woods never change. <clears throat> Could you find your way back? Definitely. I grew up in this mountain. We're done here. Charlie, Jess, I want you to join me for a celebration drink. If you don't mind, I've got a few more questions. Suit yourselves. Serve Todd and just coffee. Oh my god. Coffee with sugar, two cups of water, and two different pills. We got you. Make some more coffee. Got your burger. You want one of these? One of these. Handcuffs. Coffee with creamer. Y'all got it. Coffee with sugar. You got it.
Come on. There we go. Sheriff, seriously, it's Jake? Jake has been charged with public drunkation and causing a riot. A riot? He's just sleeping one off, Fiona. Jake. Jeez, Fiona, I nearly jumped out of my skin. Well, I can't bust you out of here if you're not awake. Am I free to go, Sheriff? With my blessing. Just do me a favor. Next time you want to ask someone out, think milkshake, not moonshine. Who did you want to ask out? It doesn't matter. It didn't work out anyway. Oh, well, well, you know, I happen to love milkshakes. Me too. Maybe we should stop at the general store. Clueless. Absolutely clueless. <laughs> New location, cat store. But anywho, that's where we're gonna leave this episode off for today. And if you're liking this series, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you know when I post videos or when I go live. I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye guys.